This is a conveyor belt. We have made this to be integrated with the pick and place robot. Let's see how it's made. This is the CAD design of the conveyor belt mechanism. Here in blue, we have a frame to hold all the components together. This is the AC motor, which will drive the conveyor belt. This motor is attached to this roller. This is called a driving roller. There is one more roller at another end, which is a driven roller. This is the belt in black color. It is wrapped around the rollers, is flexible, and can rotate over the rollers. Objects can be placed on it and can be moved around. Now let's build it in the real world. Here we have made this rectangular wooden frame, to hold all the components together. A motor is attached at one end of the frame. This motor will drive the conveyor belt. It is a 230 volts AC motor. This is the circuit schematic. Here we have the motor connected to a power supply with two wires. When turned on it starts spinning its rotor. Motor wires are inserted into one end of the cable, and the other end can be plugged into a wall socket. A roller or pipe is connected to the motor, and the motor rotates it. Another roller is free to rotate. Instead of using a belt, we have used paper sheets. Multiple paper sheets are connected together to form a flexible belt. This belt rotates as the roller rotates. Let's test the conveyor belt, by placing some objects over it. Yes, it is working fine. Let's see the applications of this conveyor belt. As the name suggests, it is for conveying objects from one place to other. Later we will integrate it with our pick and place robot. It can be used as a display board or advertisement board, and newspapers, paper pages, photos, and advertisements can be stuck to it. It will be a very interactive board and still cheap and easy to build. That's all for now. See you again with more robotic technologies, robotics every day.